So I'm on my way now to Las Vegas here. Got myself a nice convertible Ford Mustang, super epic, you know, out here in the middle of the desert. Don't have a lot of connection out here and it's piping hot. It's like 35 degrees or so. Um, I actually have to pull the cover back up because it's just uh, way too hot. Few more minutes to go um, until I'm in Las Vegas. I'm gonna hit the gym first, checking into the hotel and then see what the city has to offer. Just arrived here in front of the Dragon's Lair gym. Super excited for that one because it's literally one of the most, uh, probably the most iconic gym in uh, Las Vegas and also world known um, just for the vibe, for the equipment, uh, owned by Flex Wheeler. So I'm super, super hyped to go in there and um, yeah, having a good push, push sessions on the program. Let's go. That's where I'm gonna stay. <laughs> Good morning! It is 7.30 a.m. We are in the fabulous city of Las Vegas, Nevada. We have the stadium over there, the Delano Hotel over there. We have the Luxor Hotel. And as you can see, we are staying at Mandalay Bay. As I said, it's early morning here. So I thought, since we are here, I'm gonna do a full day of eating in Las Vegas in different places and uh, also take you with me to the gym then we're gonna get a good meal in in a special place and in the evening more cool stuff to come so i would say let's get right into it so just a quick shape check because the lighting here is on point <laughs> shred is going good we are here let's go the lighter it gets um, yeah which is brilliant because this will be also the natural resistance curve of your muscles in the shortened position they're the weakest and in the stretch position they're the strongest so that's why it's cool you can adjust that for yourself here already back from the gym have my shower went to the hotel and now it's time to get some waffles, vegan friendly. Time to carve up. Look at the menu. Waffle witches, classics, and then obviously, gonna build my own. A cool thing that I can do from everywhere in the world is checking in with my clients, see how their progress is going, and um, making sure they're crushing it. You can see like, from my phone here, the weight chart, and uh, it's steadily decreasing. One of my clients who started at 108, kilos and uh, it's just about to break through the 100 kg mark getting into the two digit club and um, yeah just getting it to the next level get healthier more energetic and it's super epic to see and yeah keeping track of every single measurement he's now eight and a half kilos down while still enjoying his life while still traveling while still enjoying his favorite foods and um, yeah, just in so many levels, just increasing life quality, which is amazing to see. Red velvet waffles, strawberries, peanut butter, a lot of peanut butter actually. Chocolate chips. Couldn't resist, had to get another one, um, but this time just a plain one with strawberries and to not overdo it. What I did, good hack, is uh, I stirred up some protein powder peanut butter flavor gets a nice consistency and I'm now going to spread that over that so you hit have a higher protein intake kill the sweet tooth and stay within limits already back in the middle of the city as you can see everything super wild Yes, who got himself a Gordon Ramsay burger. I had to. I'm not really hungry, but I really, really had to. Um, even though they didn't have any tables, I was like, I have to get a takeaway. Let's try that one out. Doesn't look very fascinating, but 
I, I expect a lot from the taste. Gordon Ramsay, time to impress me. Wild. This is crazy. The bun could be more toasted in all honesty because I know he's a, uh, a bun toaster. But the flavor of the patty is wild. I wanted to say, it's one of the, if not the best vegan burger that I've ever had. Nothing fancy and like super greasy, just good flavor. That makes me actually quite more exciting because tonight I have a reservation at one of his restaurants, Hell's Kitchen. Uh, they have a full vegan menu. So I was like, I have to get a, get a reservation there. Back at the hotel, showered, changed, and ready to eat. Now we're going to Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen. So just to quickly sum up the experience that I had at Hell's Kitchen, uh, the restaurant from Gordon Ramsay. Overall, I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed. Don't get me wrong, you know, like the restaurant looks really nice. It has like um, the, the, the staff was very friendly, but the food was meh. The portion sizes were very, very small. I ordered in total, I think like four um, entrees or main dishes and with a dessert together. And um, afterwards I left hungry, which is not a good sign overall, especially considering the prices and everything. I felt like especially the dessert was a little bit misleading. You know, I'm big on the desserts, but um, the dessert was a coconut dessert. It was advertised as coconut cake and coconut ice cream, but in the end it was basically just coconut ice cream with like three breadcrumbs on it that were supposed to be the cake, dry breadcrumbs, which was a little bit, yeah, you know I love cake, so. That was a little bit of a disappointment. So overall, I had the best experience with the burger. Actually, that was really, really good. But the restaurant in and of itself was just, yeah. But anyways, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, share your thoughts in the comments. And especially if you're also interested to lose weight, to get in shape while still be able to travel, to eat in restaurants without having to restrict yourself drastically or like over obsess on macro tracking, calorie tracking, or uh, spending hours on the treadmill every single day, I'm inviting you to click the link down below where you can apply for a free consultation call. Uh, we're gonna hop on a quick call, have a quick chat about your goals, what are your challenges, and then also see what the best strategy for you could look like. So you can also enjoy the little things in life or the big things in life while still being your healthiest, your fittest, and get into the shape of your life. So, hope you enjoyed that one. See you in the next video.